when you're teaching about metric measurements at some point you're going to be talking about cubic meters and one of the things that will help students to understand that measurement is to show them how big it is now in the past I've used a one meter ruler like this and said to students well this is how long it is in this direction that's the dimension in that direction and this is how high it is and you know just sort of do that and say well that's how big a cubic meter is but that's not really very satisfying because you don't see the whole thing all at once and I think that a lot of students go yeah 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 and they sort of mentally agree with you but they don't really get a good uh, good look at how big it is so what I really like now is to use a kit to show the whole cubic meter at once it's just made of long pieces of wood 12 of them and plastic corner pieces like this that connect them together and that's the the secret to this thing I'm standing in one now as you can tell and I've almost finished so I'm just going to construct this these just slide in here this is a really good one I used to have a cheaper one but the pieces of wood ended up getting broken with people playing sword fights with them but there we go so let me just hold this up there like that the thing I love about this as I said is just it shows you how big a cubic meter is it really does you can see the whole thing in one go and the thing that surprises me is just how large it is because I think I'm you know it's easy to say yeah I know how big a cubic meter is because I've seen a one meter ruler but the whole thing put together like this is uh, really quite impressive one activity I've done with my students so uh, adult students in the main who are going to be teachers is to see how many people we can fit inside the cubic meter and I've been surprised you can fit six or seven or eight adults in a cubic meter so with children you could fit even more so one cubic meter if I had the opportunity as a teacher I would see if I could hang this up in the classroom somewhere if you've got very high ceilings you could do that and just leave it hanging up there or if not put it in the corner somewhere and let students get used to the size of it because I really think that most of us don't really have this very um, accurate mental picture of how big a cubic meter is all right so far so good now in teaching the measurement of volume or capacity you're going to be using other measurements the cubic meter is a quite a big unit we have a lot of smaller ones that we use or a couple of them anyway and those units of course are milliliters and liters now we have some assistance here from place value blocks and of course we use these for teaching number and this is one of the one blocks and this is a thousand block just using these two we can do a lot of teaching about volume and capacity units the beauty of this is that the place value blocks are based on one centimeter cube so this is a one centimeter cube this is a thousand blocks so it's actually a thousand cubic centimeters in volume the neat bit about the metric system is that there are all these connections between the units and one connection here is that a cubic centimeter that size is exactly the same volume as one milliliter and so if this is a milliliter in volume this is a thousand of those or a liter so here's a model for a liter and again I really like the way these uh, place value blocks can be used in that way and one other thing I would say here if they sell one liter cartons or bottles of milk where you live you might notice this doesn't look as big as those bottles which of course is clever packaging uh, this actually looks like less than a litre in terms of uh, other containers so you might want to investigate that with your class so we can see that a litre is a cube in this shape this it's a cube and the lengths of the edges are of course 10 centimetres 10 times 10 times 10 is a thousand so this is a 10 centimetre cube so the question arises how many of these would fit inside this cubic meter that I'm standing in right now clearly it's a lot but exactly how many it is it it wouldn't take long for students to work out that if this is 10 centimeters on every edge 
and this is one meter, which is 100 centimeters, that this cube would fit along the edge exactly 10 times. It would fit along that edge 10 times. So just using those two, we could put a layer on the bottom of this cube. And if you have enough in your classroom, you can actually do that. A layer of 1,000 cubes, or 1 litre cubes, as we might call them, on the bottom layer, how many would there be? Obviously, it's 100. And then how many layers could we make? The answer is 10. And so we could fill this cube, if we had enough of these blocks, with 1,000 1, blocks or 1,000 litres. So one cubic metre has the same volume as 1,000 litres. And in the metric system, we have a, a unit for 1,000 litres, of course, and that's kilolitre. One more thing we can do here is to connect this with mass. Again, in the metric system, there's this nice connection between volume and mass. One litre of water weighs one kilogram. One milliliter of water weighs one gram. So here, we would, if we could make this out of water in some way, this would be a gram of water, this would be a kilogram of water. What would the mass of this amount of water be? Well, a thousand liters fit in a cubic meter. A thousand kilograms is a ton. So a cubic meter of water weighs a ton, the same amount as a small car. So there we go, a cubic meter kit.